Rachel Riley has admitted that she fought with her husband, former Strictly Come Dancing professional Pasha Kovalev, after anti-Semitic comments from trolls online left her in tears. Rachel Riley has confessed that she once got into an argument with her husband Pasha Kovalev after anti-Semitic comments from trolls online reduced her to tears. The Countdown presenter recalled how the former Strictly Come Dancing professional had told her she was not allowed to cry. Rachel, 36, has opened up about the anti-Semitic comments she has received from vile Twitter trolls and the effect it had on her husband Pasha, 42. The Countdown star discussed the online abuse she received with Anna Whitehouse on her Dirty Mother Pucka podcast. She told Anna, at one stage one spoke publicly on a podcast and it was like a tap had been turned on. Literally, it felt like someone had pressed a button and sent them all in my direction all at once, she said. Referring to the online hatred she received when she publicly campaigned against anti-Semitism. It was overwhelming and it was my birthday week and I just remember I was crying because something really horrible had happened, Rachel remembered. And Pasha was saying, look, if you're going to do this, you're not allowed to cry. I think it was one of the only times we argued about it, actually. And he's been so supportive and we talked about it and then he never said anything along that realm. She added, he was just frustrated that he could see these horrible people getting to me. When Anna asked Rachel about her tears once more, the maths whiz confirmed she won't be joining any more Twitter pile-ons. Rachel has not been afraid to voice her views online over the years, particularly when it came to accusations of anti-Semitism under Jeremy Corbyn's Labour Party. The star has often been outspoken about labor online, and has faced plenty of vitriol from internet trolls as a result. After the general election in 2019 that saw the Labour Party lose to the Conservatives, Rachel described some of the disgusting messages she received from people online. 